Daisy from Design Squad Global. I want you to make something really strong out of a material that is easy to find. Cardboard. I'm going to show you some cardboard building techniques that you need to know before you get started. Cardboard can be super strong if you understand its strengths and weaknesses. Now here's an example of one of cardboard's weaknesses. If you put a load on a sheet of cardboard like this, it bends easily. But if you put weight on the other direction like this, it doesn't bend as easily. Here's why. Cardboard has this middle layer that is corrugated. Corrugated means folded. If you look closely at the corrugation, you can see that it is folded and all the folds are in the same direction. Let me show you with this piece of paper. See how the paper is folded back and forth all in the same direction? When I bend the paper in this direction, it's not as strong because the paper bends along the folds. If you flip it 90 degrees, it's much stronger and it can stand on its own. Now I'm going to show you how I use corrugated cardboard to build a strong creation. A stool. So, the first thing we must do is figure out which direction the corrugation of the cardboard should go. It cannot go horizontally because if I sit on it, it would fold and I would fall. So I need the corrugation of the cardboard to be vertical. See the corrugation in there is vertical. We definitely want to take advantage of that. So I'm going to start with some columns. So I'm going to cut the cardboard, okay? And I think I'm going to make them into triangular prisms. Triangles on the top and bottom and rectangles on the sides. So next step is I am going to put the smaller columns inside the bigger columns to make them stronger. Now I'm going to put the wide faces together like this. Now I'm going to take a bigger piece of cardboard and wrap it around these columns to make it even stronger. Oh nice, perfect. Look at that. All right. These are going to be very uncomfortable to sit on. So I'm going to make my seat. And I'm going to make it two layers. One layer would be the corrugation going this way and the corrugation also going this way. Nice, nice. And this one has the corrugation going this direction and my corrugation is going this way. Alrighty, moment of truth. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. So what kind of super strong designs can you come up with using cardboard? Do you think you can build a step stool or something smaller like a bed or a table for a stuffed animal? Be sure to keep corrugation in mind. Use the folds to your advantage. And try and use triangular prisms. They make awesome columns. See if you can build something strong using these same ideas. Be sure to tell us all about it on the Design Squad Global website. We can't wait to hear from you.